I think people just want to make change and see results too quickly. Immediately. <laughs> Quick <laughs> fix. <laughs> Quick fix, exactly. And I experienced this myself. When I first tried to eat a little bit healthier years ago, I went on the internet, I did a bunch of, research, bunch of research, and then started applying little tips and tricks. But the thing is, you know, when you, when you want to make change too fast, and on your day one, you go to the grocery store, and then you are trying to prepare a salad for like a whole week, you know, your meal prep. And then I tried the salad, and it turned out that I actually couldn't digest it well and I was feeling so bloated and sluggish and I'm like oh is this really something I should be feeling is this what healthy lifestyle <laughs> feels like maybe it's not for me so, so that's the thing when you are eating a certain way for a prolonged period of time and suddenly you change it too drastically mm. your body might not react to it too well yeah. you might not feel that great it doesn't mean that fruits or veggies or salads are bad for you it just means maybe you have to take it slower, one step at a time, and then you will slowly start seeing the changes. So it's also important that A, you take it slow, but also not just like me, go on the internet and do a bunch of random research, <laughs> but um, it's best for you if you actually follow a guided, whether it's a program or it's a nutritional, nutritional advice, you need to have your information from a trusted source. That and it will definitely help you to, to see the changes and at least you'll be able to see if you're on the right track. And with the guidance, you'll be able to see if, um, you know, how to observe your body better, develop this sort of awareness and mindfulness around food, which is crucial. You, you cannot just simply follow blindly, you know, eating kale is good for you or yep. eating avocados is great for you. You just have to eat certain foods, see how you feel and then judge. And then judge um, whether it's right for you. Exactly. Right? I'll tell you another story. <laughs> Avocado is the poster healthy food that everybody just eats. You can see it on Instagram and everyone is just the healthiest food and I'm allergic to it and I only <laughs> found out yes what an irony right <laughs> health coach allergic to avocado <laughs> but I only found out by observing my body I'll just eat avocado and I wouldn't feel great I'm like no I can't be avocado. you can't be allergic no, to avocado, avocado right avocado. Yep. but every time I'll have it I'll feel sick I'll have a terrible tummy ache yeah and then so I, I finally actually did a blood test that confirmed I'm allergic to avocado. Wow. And so it just goes to show that, you know, there is no one magic superfood that will just heal all your problems or make you super healthy. You really have to take the time to see what works, what doesn't, and this will be your prescription for optimal health. If you are someone suffering from a digestive issue or you want to lose weight or you want to transform your health, make sure you get your hands on Purely Bees Nourish Heal Glow 28 day program designed by one of our health experts, Karina Lippold. This program starts on January 12th and you'll get daily educational videos. You'll get some of Karina's best recipes with Asian twist and you'll get a lot of support from Karina as well as the Nourish Heal Glow community so that you can get through those 28 days together.